Hi guys, my name is Stefania. Welcome to my channel. It feels really weird to start a video without lipstick on, um, but that is the point of today's video. We are going to try out the new Fenty uh, lipstick, the Unveil liquid lipstick. I'm very excited about this shade. It screams fall. I figure if everything screams fall, it's going to suddenly turn into fall outside, but it's still 102. But anyways, I am so ready for it. I'm ready for this to get on my lips. I have never tried her formula before. She came out with that gorgeous red shade in this formula, and a lot of people were waiting for other shades to come out, me especially, just because reds aren't really my thing, um, unless it's like strawberry red. So I'm really excited to actually get to try this out, and I will do some comparison swatches for you guys, see if it is a unique shade, or if you might already have it in your collection. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and put this on my lips. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's go ahead and get in. So side note, I always feel like browns like these, I have to have like dark brown shades. I feel like you have to have a liquid lipstick because if it is a lip, like an actual bullet lipstick, if it smears a little bit, like it looks like you have chocolate on your face and I can never eat chocolate without getting chocolate on my face, but it's not a good look. Let's just say that. Here's the patching it comes in. Um, so it looks really big, but really when you kind of get it out of the box, it's kind of the, the lid is big. It's very pretty, don't get me long, but I was like, this looks huge. Like I'm gonna get a lot of product and then you kind of bring it out and you're like, oh, okay. It's, it's, it's still, it's the same amount of product. It's the four milliliters for both, it is the same like product wise as the Smashbox always on and a lot of other standard lipsticks. So you're not getting more and you're not getting less. It's $24, which for a liquid lipstick seems kind of on the expensive side. Um, not horrible, but definitely not the cheapest either. So just to keep in mind. Uh, but I did order from Sephora and yes, I'm just excited to put this on my lips. Luckily, I've been doing the Laneige, Laneige lip mask so my lips aren't too dry um it's actually been helping a lot so they should not look crusty with this all right so one of the things that everyone says is so amazing about this is the wand and it even says that on the packaging it says unrivaled precision wand one stroke intensity 12 hour matte wear so let's see how this goes and i love brown shades okay Feels nice. So this is the shade close up. This is just with one dip into the bottle. So super opaque, opaque, you know, you know what I'm saying? But it's a super pretty rich brown. It doesn't show any type of, woo, woo. I opened the wrong thing. Okay, so this is what the shade looks like now that it's on. I wouldn't say the applicator is as precise as uh, I need the applicator, you know? I don't have surgeon hands, like, so I would definitely go in with the Kylie Brown lip liner just because that's my darkest brown lip liner I own. So I would probably still do that just to kind of make sure everything looks a little bit nicer around the edges, edges a little more crisp. Um, but it's not bad, it is completely, I don't see any patchiness at all. And I'm gonna leave it on for a few minutes before I talk about the formula and really let that dry and set down, but it is already dry, no transfer. Um, so that's nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab some comparison shades and that way we can see if this is a truly unique shade, if why well, can't I already have these in my collection, maybe you already do as well, and therefore you don't need, you know, but it is, so far I'm impressed. So I will be right back and I'm gonna grab some lipsticks. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into the comparisons. So I'm gonna obviously do the Fenty first, but I really, I mean, I love these types of browns, to be honest. It's the one shade my husband's always just like, no. Like I could wear a hot pink or hot purple and he'd be like, it's good. But for some reason, these dark doo-doo browns, he's like, no. Um, and I really like them because I think they whiten your teeth and I think it's like the beautiful fall color that I just, I love. So 
let's go in we're gonna go with the closest ones i think first this was a, a few different smashbox ones they have a lot of browns um but true grit is definitely one that i thought of which to be honest i think mine is pretty dried out which i'm kind of sad over they really don't last me as long as i want them to i love the formula of of like smashbox but i feel like they they dry pretty fast Okay, so True Grit is actually a lot darker. This is a very pretty chocolatey brown. This is definitely like a dark brown. So I'm actually happy that they're different. I don't want to find a dupe is what I'm trying to say. So I can keep it. Because <laughs> I actually do really like the shade. Let me know your thoughts. This is Truffle from Jouer. I'm going to put it right underneath. And then let's see, I have Kylie's Cosmetics True Brown K. Truffle is actually closer to True Grit. It has actually a little bit of purple into it. So there is the Fenty, there is the Jouer Truffle. I would say that's actually, no, I would say that's probably the closest. And then there is Kylie's True Brown K. So actually out of all of these, I would say Truffle from Jouer is the closest to this one. Um, but yeah, True Grit, Fenty, um, the Unveil shade, and then you have Jouer and True Brown K from Kylie Cosmetics. All browns, but not, not the same. But yeah, I would say that Truffle shade is probably the closest. Let's go ahead and like, so if I rubbed it together, you can't really tell that there's a difference. However, Jouer is not really, I don't think a lot of people probably have this compared to like Smashbox or Kylie so in a way I guess that's kind of good um but yeah still a gorgeous gorgeous color I'm just gonna kind of swatch those out for you guys that way you can see when they look you know all together it's not like you're gonna be able to tell that much um but yeah True Grit and True Brown K are a little bit deeper compared to the Unveil shade I still love it so for those of you who aren't that comfortable with a darker brown or just kind of want to a little lighter touch in the center we're gonna try jeffree star's baby daddy and we're just going to kind of do that right in the center just kind of give it that ombre effect and kind of just see how that looks just because i mean i like the deep brown but i see how it would be a lot i think it's a lot for daytime it's more like a date night i feel type look so there's the lip color when it is has a little bit of a lighter touch in the center and I actually really like this. I feel like it's more daytime appropriate, you know? I like the look a lot, gives it a little bit more dimension. Um, I still like the color completely on its own, but if you were kind of like on the side of like, oh, like it's too bold, then mixing something in the center might be a better look for you. Okay, overall thoughts. I really do like the color of this. Yes, the Jouer one is similar, but guess what? I only have a mini, so it's okay if I keep it. I think this is a perfect fall type shade if you like browns, or if you never tried a brown, maybe try it out in store. I like them on me. Like I said, not everybody likes these, but I really like it. I like it for fall. I think it's a really pretty shade. I love doing something like this and either brown in the crease or like a mustardy type colors. Those colors always look great with these brown shades pretty much fall leaves you know anything you can think of with fall colors this will go with so formula wise I don't feel sticky I don't feel I feel like I have nothing on my lips right now I don't know about the 12 hour wear I can definitely update you guys in the description box I will wear it all day and see how it goes and but yeah it feels really good and I only needed one coat to cover my lips I didn't have to dip back in definitely not patchy so yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the lipstick. Let me know um, what you guys think of the color, if you guys are going to pick it up or pass, and i just love to hear from you guys in general. I know she came out with another nude shade, but I think I'm going to stick with this one. I think so. I don't know. Don't quote me on that one, you know? All right. I will see you guys in the next video.